Hey guys, how are you? This is Jeff. I wanted to do a VR, a really deep and cool VR to Anna Teresa up in Lady uh, uh, Bird uh, Tarot and Art. And um, yeah, it's called uh, the Four Element uh, Spread. And I wanted to uh, just briefly describe it. Uh, her video is a lot more in depth, uh, but it's it's almost nine o'clock on a Friday and I think I should be getting home soon. So I wanted to fire this off uh, as quick as I could to um, to just have fun with it because it really just, it really looked amazing. Basically, it's a descriptive spread. Um, use a bunch of cards, but we're gonna go over that as I'm pulling them. Um, and it involves the conscious and the subconscious. So she suggested, and I thought it was a cool deal to use two different decks her two decks were very complimentary there was like a white and a or a white and a black a different version of the same deck it was really beautiful I'm gonna use for the conscious uh, for the conscious um, uh, understanding of the four elements of a particular situation uh, in my life, I'm going to be using my uh, my original uh, RWS that I uh, custom colored uh, just for gaggles and fun. So I'm going to be using these cards uh, to represent the conscious uh, understanding of what I am aware that I am thinking um, uh, as far as the four elements. And we're going to lay them down like fire, air, water, and earth. Earth being the culmination of obviously the fire, the air, and the water. And the condition and situation I'm going to be uh, trying to gain some clarity on uh, right now with this spread. And I'm going to walk you through it as I do it. Uh, there's no real sense just walking you through all the way and then doing it over again. Um, but that's uh, my <laughs> my seeming uh, difficulty with sort of getting back onto the fitness bandwagon in the new year. The clothes are a little bit tight. I'm slightly uncomfortable. And I wanted to find out what was going on consciously that is holding me back or waiting to get through from my subconscious when Whenever we get to the second deck, I'm going to use another deck to go underneath these four elements, kind of to get some uh, understanding about uh, about what could be going on with my uh, resistance in uh, you know getting uh, sort of back into you know eating right, feeling right in my body. Uh, it's been a while since I've sort of been stuck in this sort of a situation, and uh, we're going to just try to gain some what is consciously understood uh, with the fire first. And I'm going to just be doing these not reversed. You know me, I love reversals. But here we're just going to be doing them right side up, okay? So the fire right here, this is all about just my doing aspect. The fire element of what I'm consciously doing is that I'm not doing anything damn different. And that's absolutely true. Consciously, I'm not doing anything differently that would be changing the effect of feeling the way I've been feeling in my body. That's the fire. The air, the air element's going to be right there. The air, okay, well, that kind of makes sense there for the conscious understanding of what the hermit is. It's contemplation. Consciously, I'm just sort of thinking, why am I still in this situation in my physical body whenever I'm not really doing anything different, but my, uh, you know, my, uh, I'm not, I'm not coming back to my baseline where I was kind of before the holidays. And in this air element, you can kind of see, obviously there's no action, but it's definitely a lot of thinking about what the hell kind of crap is going on, all right? Right here, we're gonna put the water element of this situation of me feeling a little bit uncomfortable in my body. And here we go, we got the king of cups. This poor guy right there, he's not really about doing anything. He's just about making the decisions about staying in balance. And that really is sort of, if you have to put an emotion water element in my conscious stuff, that's what I'm trying to do is battle not battle, but I'm working with feeling okay about where I am. All right, there's no real accident that the, you know, the, I, I, I could go on for days. So let me get off the stove box and just kind of get moving on here. This is my water element of my conscious understanding of what is going on with this situation of, you know, uh, just not being able to get back into the, uh, sort of like the, the wellness bandwagon. And then the combination of these three in this earth element, is gonna be right there. Really, it's telling me that am I really, really that unhappy being where I am now? And honestly, consciously, I'm not that really unhappy. I'm just kind of thinking that I should be back before where I was before the holidays, all right? I love when a ten, that 10 comes up like that, all right? Now, that is for the conscious understanding. For the subconscious, 
or the unconscious. It really depends on how you want to phrase that. Being a hypnotherapist, I, I had to do this spread because I just love so much the subconscious uh, programming of why we find ourselves. For the subconscious cards in the four elements, I'm going to be using these uh, this Pam's Vintage Tarot. It's just a killer-ass look, man. So I'm going to put that right on top of there, right on top of the other deck. And so for my fire element of the what's going on under my subconscious, kind of that, that's sort of feeding into this what am I doing about not doing anything different, is that I think what this is saying is that I think it is just that time in my life. This is the this is also another 10 of cups guys. I need to work on I believe subconsciously. Actually, this is something I need to bring up more to my conscious awareness is that perhaps I just worry about me being happy and not so concerned about how my clothes are fitting or particularly how I look now compared to how I looked judging by some sort of right wrong you should look like this blah 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 subconsciously i'm totally fine with being where i am in the fire element all right let's find out what's going on over here with the air element with my uh this is like a really deep this is a subconscious mental process of the air element let's find out what that's all about all right well then as i'm contemplating consciously <laughs> i'm kind of thinking that subconsciously there's something that i'm still kind of not getting to make the connection to make the connection about why I'm just not happy, not, ugh, that's not the right phraseology, why I'm just not more satisfied, kind of just being just exactly how I am right now, because subconsciously I'm doing pretty good with who I am right now. I love how the hermit's just sort of looking down at that one perception, that one perspective that I probably will be leaving or probably will be getting into during the last two cards that aren't even here. And I didn't even get to those. Those are sort of like the summation cards. All right. So anyway, moving on to the water element, the subconscious, deeper, undercover, understanding in this water element of the situation about not fully being on this fitness band. Wagon. Here we go. We got the four of coins. All right. I kind of like whenever they cross over with the elements in the different elementals. Okay. So in the water, we have the four. So again, this is structurally sound. All right. This is saying that this is just where I am right now, consciously trying to weigh, trying to measure, trying to feel good about it. But underneath, if I just let go of the surface conscious expectations of what I should be doing, feeling, thinking about my body and fitness and wellness, I'm just fine. This tells me that I'm healthy. This tells me that I should be first feeling healthy and then from that feeling of being healthy, then move on to see if that influences actions or further thoughts and about new way to carry directions. All right. I kind of like this spread. Now, subconscious with sort of what's being developed in the earth element, incorporating these other three right there, we have this right there. And again, this is another positive, wonderful sign. This is the queen, the master of living life. Again, subconsciously, this is telling me that I have to just worry about getting out of my I should be somewhere else and just sort of soak in this present moment of now. That is what these eight cards are telling me. Now, the final two cards are pretty much like what pulls everything together, okay? On the conscious level, what pulls everything together that's going to kind of, I can actually take with me to be able to have a thought that's going to sort of make this more solidified with that 12% of my conscious mind, that's going to be this right there. It's just the imagining, or it's a seven. You love the sevens. You love to see it. It's based on emotion. So I have to remove myself ultimately from what I'm doing, ultimately from what I'm, you know, how I'm seeing myself in the physical world and just go into the more positive feeling, because cups are feelings, obviously, about what is underlying. Basically, this card is saying on the conscious level, you have to put some sort of focus to find the relevance of these unconscious cards and the reality that that is real in your fire elements 
you know, this is real in your air element, this wonderful card that you're fine, but you're still okay to reach for something else. That this is real, that you're solid, that you're healthy, that you're fine in this water element. And that most important of all, that you're just okay. You're fine. This wonderful queen, the master of living right there. This is what I have to consciously tell myself, that I have to find which way is going to make me feel good about just being the way I am right now. This spread is telling me the power of now is so so important, okay? Now, the unconscious understanding that's going to tie these all together, hopefully this will be able to, you know, influence and be able to really make the change because if you know the subconscious mind like I work with it in the offices, you got to affect the subconscious mind to make the change. And then there you go. You got to bring in the benefits of other people in your journey. Thinking about the more positive, the more present that you are with yourself, how you get to answer this call to be of a better assistance to those around you. This is the crossroads. This is do I just serve myself, have a great life, or do I turn, have that focus somewhere else so that I can, uh, you know, be of service to, you know, those uh, that are around me that I find myself in. I love this spread. I hope it made sense. I didn't want to go slow through it. I could ramble on on this stuff for days. So I just kind of wanted to make a nice thing there. So anyway, thank you so much, Anna Teresa. This was a really fun video. Uh, I hope this camera thing, I was sort of looking around the camera. I hope this kind of worked out okay where everyone kind of saw the cards. This is a fantastic 10 card spread and I thank you so, so much. That is thumbs up to you, Anna Teresa. Thanks.